Hello everybody. So we're gonna create a new composition. 10 seconds duration is enough. And I'm gonna activate the title action safe. It's very practical when you need to create some shape because it gives you the center. So I take the ellipse tool. I click in the center, type common for a Mac, control for a PC, plus shift, which enables me to draw from the center in a nomothetic way. So here is my circle. I don't have a fill, but I don't need one, and you can delete it by clicking there. I want thicker strokes, so I maybe 20, okay. And in the contents of the shape layer, I'm gonna add a trim path, which will allow me to make the circle draw itself or delete itself with end and start. So at the beginning, both start and end are at zero. I activate the chronometer and start, go to one second, put it at 100, activate the chronometer on hand, go to two seconds and 100. And this is my basic animation. Now to make it better, there are a few things. I want to animate the offset. Go to the end of the animation and type one. Full turn. And I also want my path to never completely disappear and never completely be formed. So I don't want this empty frame and I don't want this full frame of the circle. So I will add a keyframe to hand at the beginning and I will put two on start. So I have kind of a little path here. On one second, I will put start at 99 and end at 1%. And at the end, I will put start at 100, but end at 98. So you see, now it's never empty and it's never full. I got a little problem doing this because my pass is at the right of the point at the beginning and is at the left of the point at the end. So I will offset my offset in order that it is at the same place, both at the beginning and at the end. Now we'll take all the keyframe of start and end and add an easy ease. which kind of make it smoother. And I can go to the graph speed and make the start parameter start with more his and hand with less. And the opposite for the hand parameter, it will start with less his and finish with more. Which gives kind of a smoother acceleration to it. I think. So now I want this to be played in loop. For that, I will use an expression called loop out cycle, which will take my keyframe on one parameter and repeat them from the first to the last forever after. So I'll click the chronometer and it's loop out cycle. And this I will copy and paste on all the animated parameters and I get this loading cycle loading itself in loop. Last few things, I will go to the stroke and I don't want it to be cut like that so I will round the cap, I think it's more beautiful. And I can change the color of my stroke, activating the chronometer on the beginning. I will go to two seconds because my animation is two seconds long. So every two seconds I can change the color and I will make it yellow. And as you can see, the colors 
transform themselves into one another, which is not what I want, which is kind of ugly. So I will take all the keyframe by lassoing or by clicking on color directly. Right click and say I want toggle all keyframe. Hold keyframe is a way of saying I don't want the value to move between the keyframes. So here it's white, it would stay white until the next keyframe, then stay yellow, etc. etc. And now it's done. Thank you for listening and excuse my French.